Mmm. See now, if it was a rose bush that needed pruning, I'd be right on this. Um, but this is beyond me. Anything to do with DIY, I find a little bit scary. Um, and I convinced myself I'm going to make a complete hash of it. So I got my mate Alva to come round and give us a hand and show me how to change the valve that sat inside there, I guess, um, that's causing this dripping to go on. Um, here we go. Let's see if we can mend the problem of the dripping tap. Right, <laughs> right then, Alf. Show me what do we do? Because I'm looking at this, and I can't even work out how to dismantle the tap. Oh, you know, you, you got those indicating hot and cold there. Yeah. Usually, there's a screw or little uh, Allen grub screw. Or, okay. Or, so Behind there, yeah. Isn't it? So we'll take that off, and then hopefully we'll find out what we need right. to undo that with. So okay. I find the best thing for that is a. Uh, Stanley knife blade. I saw you with that blade. I thought, yeah. it's not that bad, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that usually finds the best thing to just sort of tease those out. Wiggle it a bit, is yeah, it? And if they're really old, they sometimes just crumble. Yeah. So we just I can relate to that. <laughs> tease it up. Oh, there it goes. And then it should. Ah, okay. So I was just thinking that would indicate what's a hot and cold tap, <coughs> but it's also hiding where the, 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 the screw, yeah. I don't know, from where you are, can you see what we need? Does it look like a screwdriver or a Allen? No, so I, I can see the hole there, Alf, but I can't see what's needed to um, address, you know, how, what do we do? Well, nine out of ten times, it's a Allen key you require. Allen? So Alan. Uh, this is one I've often used from other taps so we, by luck I'll, I'll, I'll just get my head around and have a quick uh, gander in there um, that's the back of Alva's head oh, there right viewers there. okay so that should fit into there that's it and then it's just locating it there we go so we've located that and then uh, lefty loosey righty tighty so there we okay. go so we'll just loosen that uh, okay. and let ah. Okay, so, so what was it that you were doing then? So you see that little uh, grub screw in there? Okay. That tightens up and just presses oh, against there. Oh, grips on there, right, there. right. So I noticed this one's a bit loose, so perhaps we'll do that after. Undo that yeah, and yeah. just tighten it up yeah. a little bit as well then. Okay. So. Sorry. And, um, oh, sorry. Yeah. Go on. We've got access to this, and right, straight is, away, yes. I've noticed a mistake. I've come along with my um, adjustable spanner. Yeah. But we're not going to be able to get into there. Uh -huh. We need to get a socket set. Ah, okay. So that will fit into there because I thought the yeah, yeah, yeah. You better that would grip be a bit there. prouder. Right, but, but it's sunken we, in there. We yeah. won't be able. To, no, we can't really get a decent. You could do it like that, but it's risky. It could slip, you know, right. and then yeah, it could do damage. Uh, right yeah, yeah. So we don't want to do that. So we'll see if we can find the a correct socket. Then it needs to be a, a relatively deep one to take the shaft of that. Uh, tap spindle there as well. All right, so, so um, and do we need to go and turn off the um, the main supply of water? That is extremely important, so we'll make sure we do that, because otherwise... Uh, We'd have to rename this video, how to make an internal water yes, feature. Uh, and how to make a flood claim for your insurance. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll put that safely over there. Right, let's go and find that um, stopcock then, is it? Right, do you? Yeah. Here we go then, right, so, ah, oh, I can see it there, up at the back of the sink there. And is that the same situation, lefty, lefty loosey or whatever? Yeah, righty tighty, so we want to tighten it this time. So, uh, majority of the time you'll find the stopcocks usually underneath the kitchen sink, but um, oh, ah. that's not always the case. <laughs> so, I just need to turn it. Oh, is that the right way, am I going? So, towards you, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. That seems, I suppose what we can do is just turn on the kitchen sink and see if it... Uh, right. well, another handy tip is, if we do find out we've turned it off properly, is to leave the kitchen tap on. Yeah. Because that will take the pressure away from upstairs. There we go. So you can see that's dripping slowly. Yeah. You might be able to get it a little bit slower if we give it an extra tighten, but 
even like that, it should be sufficient for us to... to take away any pressure from yeah. upstairs, yeah. So that you, that you, that you, there won't be enough pressure to All right. actually take the... So open, open up that tap there, so... Uh, yeah, so just I... leave it open. Okay. I'll, I'll see if I can give it another little... Go on then, get a, get a real man on it, there. yeah. Any better? No. No, let's give us a good I think the way I did it was best. Uh... Yeah. Right. Okay. So we'll just leave that running. Right. And then we'll... Go back upstairs. upstairs yeah. Right. Okay, right. back upstairs. So um, we'll just see if we've got any cold water coming upstairs because yeah. sometimes you can have a cold water tank upstairs. Uh huh. So although right. we've switched the water off downstairs, yeah. it may not necessarily be. So don't assume it's off upstairs as All well. Right, mate. So there we go. Oh, I don't okay. know if you heard that sort of yeah, gurgle. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's pulling the water down towards the oh, okay. kitchen tap. And then we'll also open this because. Yeah. Any water between, between there, there and there, there will yeah. be released. Right? Okay. So just place that on there and there we go. We had that same little yeah, gurgle. gurgle noise yeah. there. Reminds me of me in the morning, to be honest. Sorry. And we'll also do it for this as well. Oh, okay. Because there can be water yes. in there. So we'll, there we go. Just yeah. taking all the pressure back off there. So Excellent. There we go. And then. So, I'm an extremely forgetful chap. We've been all the way downstairs to the toolbox and I still haven't brought the <laughs> socket for there. So, okay. another right. trip Let's downstairs. Go right and I'll okay. go grab found the correct socket, but um, I won't lie, I've come ill prepared. I assumed that, um, like I said earlier, that that would be higher up, so I'll be able to just use yeah, my yeah. adjustable spanner. Yeah. So, I need a little extension to fit because it's a double sided socket. Uh -huh. And all I've got at the moment in the van it's a big boy. Yeah. is this beast. So yeah. <laughs> we'll put that in there, put the ratchet so, at the other end. So we can turn it. Yeah, and then uh, we should be good then. So let's put that in there, get that in there. So, look, every cloud has a silver lining like that. I clear the sink now. Yeah, so. that's true. <laughs> yeah. There we are. So that's tightening. Let's... Uh, Spin it around the other way and oh, that is tight. So, another good tip is look out for things like this. You don't, yes, because if you mark uh, something ceramic like that, it's yes, yeah, um, so my wife would be, uh, she'd oh, have yes. something to say about that, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's just that is tight, and that's not unusual for them to be very tight because it's two different metals. You've got brass and steel, oh, there, so okay, they're yeah, they often can... fused together, yeah. So Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <coughs> Excellent, then. So, uh, there we got that loose now, so you can carefully place that there. And then it is literally a case, famous last words, of taking one out and putting a new one in. So these are ceramic valves, and um, they're not really repairable. You know, there's there's such fine tolerances in there, and they're, they're just two discs that slide right, over each other. Right. So, um, and I guess over time they kind of wear down a bit, or if you get a bit, of, a bit of sediment or something in the water. That's right. It? Yeah. So we've got the new one, and the big thing is before we get ahead of ourselves is to make a close comparison. Make sure. Make sure they are exactly what we're after. So uh, I put them along each side and just. Other things to make sure before you purchase it is just count the number of spindles. I know it seems a bit tedious because the tap won't fit on oh, otherwise. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And height, I mean, we could sort of just place them right next to each other like that. To me, they look pretty spot on, I'd say. So I've got to say, um, <coughs> this tap um, was has been out of manufacture for well more than five years, and uh, but we went down to our little kind of um, independent plumbing. Um, supplies down here in Caffini. Um Shout out to the guys at Plum Save. Ta -da! Um, and uh, they managed to go back to the manufacturer and get them to kind of search back through their model numbers. Oh. Um, this is a tab Tavistock Cruise uh, tap, and they managed to, even though it um, was out of manufacture, they still had okay. some spare valves. So um, I think you struck lucky there. There's not so many people yeah, who take that effort yeah. to. Uh, well, local independent, that's the way it'll go, Definitely. isn't it? Yeah. And another good tip is, before we took this out, we made sure it was in the closed position. So do the same with this one. So, so how do you know if it's closed? Um, just simply by turning it by hand like that. Ah. So, 
So that, that opens, opens it. You can, see, oh, you can see through it there. Okay, so that's how the tap works. And then... So put it in the closed yeah. position. So j j it's only just so we line it up again. Right. So, if you're doing so it when twice, you put the tap on, it's not going to be at it's a funny a, angle. It's going to be... Correct. Right, okay. And then another little tip. Very few people do this. It's um, an old... Used to always see people do it years ago. It's called uh, breaking in the tap. So we're just going to put a little bit of uh, grease on here. Yeah. So whoever has the misfortune of having to change it again in future, okay, won't uh, find that these are fused together. You've got oh, half a chance okay. of taking okay. it apart okay. again. So okay. it's quite a. I always think it's quite an important thing to do. So I've just got a little bit of silicon grease. Yeah. <clears throat> so, and I'll just put a little bit of that on the threads there. Yeah. And uh, it'll make someone else's life in. Uh, oh, there we are. Sometime a lot easier then. So. And the silicon, I, I recommend silicon grease because um, that doesn't react with the right, rubber, rubber seal. Yeah, there, so yeah. You don't. I wouldn't put ordinary car grease, and right. so that there are other ones you, you can get which are specific to yes, not uh, ruin the rubber there. So simply just turn that in there, and a pet hate of mine, which I often see, is a case of people over tightening. Yes. So even this one here, you can see that's been tightened very tight and, and it's the rubber the, seal yeah, yeah. and there's no need to. Right. So it's hard to, <laughs> to explain it yeah. uh, over over a video, but it, it, it's just a nice feel till it's snug and it's nice and maybe just a little tweak more and then you're there. So don't, it, don't, so don't force it, force it. Exactly. Yeah. So let's find the one we had here. So I'll just tighten it up behind first there. So, and I don't even hold the right. ratchet at the end, so, you're not, so you're I'm not, not forcing getting the it, leverage, yeah, I'm holding it there, yeah, so yeah. we're just getting uh, it like okay. you see. So I can't over tighten it, and there we yeah. go, that's fine. There we are. Useful tip, thank you. So, let's have a look what we've got here. Another little tip is, if you locate the Allen key before you start, it's yeah. a lot easier than yeah. trying to put it in there once it's in there, so. That makes sense that there again we'll just double check that's that's properly off so it all lines up again yeah and then we'll just see it's uh so that needs to go another spindle across this way can you see that one's not lined up with that one so we'll just t lift it up and just wiggle it one more oh i see there. i see yeah yeah so oh, one looks too much and i think we'll go for that there i think so yeah there you go and then tighten up this allen key and just take it a little bit so it's not quite sat on the bottom there because mm -hmm. you don't want that scraping you just take it up a, a mill a smidge uh, yeah just yeah. a smidge basically technical and term then, there yeah, guys smidge okay so uh, it's a little bit less than a millimeter yeah. uh, but uh but a cigarette paper yeah <laughs> so, that's so it doesn't rub against the um the metal underneath basically. There. Yeah. you see that's nice and snug now yeah it's not wig wobbling yeah. about now so yeah. that's it basically and then We'll place our little cap back in. Jobs are good in. So we just need to turn the right. mains back on and uh, give see it a go. If, we're, yeah. if we're all good. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. So that's just dirt that was in the pipes or something, is it? Or? Yeah, and the vibrations and everything oh, that's caused it. Oh, it just dislodged it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's coming through cleaner now, isn't it? Yeah. yeah there we go. Now it's clean outside. Yeah. So. Okay, now the big moment. Well, actually, well, we've already got the big, big moment, moment, isn't it? Because right. there's no there's no drips there, apart from me, obviously. Um, so. Um, we'll just gently take the pressure off here because there could be some air in the system. There we go. Okay. There we go. A bit more muck. Let's see if he stops dripping now. We'll get a couple few drips that I just held. There we go. I think it's all good. So, there we go. Um, there we go. Plumbing for numpties. Um, uh, don't be scared. Um, yeah. If in doubt, give Alvar a shout. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you saw, it was basically there's just one grub screw 
and the actual yeah. uh, ceramic valve, they call them these days, the quarter yeah. turn ones. Yeah. So it was a case of uh, two tools, an Allen key and a socket. And, and, a, bit, a, and a bit of confidence. Yeah, yeah. and a little bit of uh, elbow grease if yeah. they're, uh, they're tight. They're, they're yeah. tight but uh, yeah. no, de definitely a job anyone can do. And um, the only other thing I would say, sometimes you get a mono tap where you've just got the the one coming into the other yeah you, you just want to hold that sturdy uh -huh. while you undo it because in this case we've got two yeah two fixings fixings there yeah. so that's not going to move anywhere right. as we're right. turning uh, okay. it so for instance if you're doing this one up here yeah you want to make sure you hold the right top, uh, yeah very Otherwise, sturdy yes as, as you're taking the top as off, you're there. Taking off there yeah. that's yeah. really important yeah so. Right. so look folks um you know me i'm into my gardening uh, and but i put this on there because it, this is me in reality you know i know you think that i know it all but i don't i know a little bit about plants but um, this man here, um, Alva, he's got a fantastic channel um, and uh, you'll see um, some of my previous household DIY problems being addressed by Alva. Um, Michello DIY? Uh, correct. Yeah, I'll That's put correct. a link in the, um, in the description below and uh, I suggest you take a look and subscribe a bit sharpish. Thank you very uh, much. Well, any questions, um, please let me or Alva know by his channel. Thank you.